who certainly proved that growing old does not mean slowing down. Will you please welcome the Golden Adventurers? <laughs> I should name them Rachel, Dorothy and, and Dot. The Golden Adventurers, that's what you call yourselves and a lot of other ladies who belong to the club. What exactly are the Golden Adventurers? Well, we're uh, an over 60s club that uh, we don't believe in sitting down and doing nothing. So we're willing to have a go at practically anything. Like what? Well, I've been uh, motoring. <laughs> one of your lot your flying well, uh, yes, <laughs> Parachuting is <laughs> out. <laughs> uh, but, um, Apart from that? Well, motor racing. Uh, motor racing? Yeah, in a Formula first car. Uh, driving a tank, a Centurion tank. <laughs> <laughs> um, sailing a, a trimaran and um, snooker. Or um, a misspent old age and snooker, yeah. yeah. Uh, working in a quarry. Um, <laughs> that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. Well, well it was really. Um, what they did was they tried not to disrupt the working day too much, but we were allowed to um, use the equipment. Uh, well, some of us. I mean, well, the blasting equipment, the stuff that... We all took a hand in blowing up part of the quarry <laughs> at first. And then uh, Brilliant. one or two of us uh, took a hand in moving the rocks and, you know, with equipment. You'd think butter wouldn't melt in your mouth, <laughs> looking at you lot. <laughs> were, you, were you in on this? No, I'm on just down to this club. Is this I'm putting you off? No, no. Yeah. What kind of things would you like to do? You've got a, a sort of... Any secret desires? Any secret well, desires? Anything, you know, not uh, particular about... You know, just one thing, the, the, just anything. The thing is, we shouldn't... I mean, you tell us off, really, because we, we shouldn't be surprised at any of this, because just because you go past some magical figure like 60 it's or it. 65, you don't suddenly become boring, do you? I mean, yeah. you know, life People goes on. think when you've retired from work that you're just going to sit there and uh, think about the past and everything. Mm. But uh, we find that if you go out... Well, I firmly believe that if you learn something new every year, you will always stay young. I mean, it's no use doing all this um, plastic surgery and whatnot to look young if you're old inside. Absolutely, yeah. You yes. need to be young inside, and really, we don't, we're not bothered about the outer coverings, are no. we? No. We're no. bothered about this long as you're as old as you look and as young as you feel, well, isn't right. it? Can I ask you how old you all are? How old are you, Rachel? I'm um, 78 in a few months in <laughs> August. 78? Yes. yes. And have you, have you been doing anything particularly? We've, I've been in the tanks and been on the lake and things like that, but I didn't go to the quarry. No, you didn't, you didn't do the Formula One, did you? <laughs> you didn't do the Formula One racing, did you? No. No, uh, no. no. you skip that, I don't blame you. What did you do in this tank? I mean, you actually drove the thing. Well, we didn't drive it. They took some of them round in it, and we, had our, <laughs> we climbed up in this huge tank and had our photographs taken with uh, one of the uh, soldiers' hats on. <laughs> and... Um, I look as if I've had one over the eight. <laughs> <laughs> you do. How old are you? Dorothy? 68. You're 68, and Dot? 64. Very 64. ungallant of us asking your ages like well, this, but I think... No, but it's, it demonstrates this is to people another watching thing me. that mm. happens. Now, until I retired, nobody used to ask me how old I was. Yeah. I mean, I've never been one of these that wouldn't tell anybody, because right. you can say you're 40, but if you're 60, you're still 60. It makes no... But when you start doing things, it's the first thing they say is, how old are you? Oh, you I'm, know. Yes. I'm covered in shame. Yes. I'm ever no. so sorry. No, I mean, I don't mind as, yeah. it, as long as it makes other people think, well, if she can do right. that at 64 that's or the point whatever, of it. that was the point I of don't it. mind. Yes. Do well, listen, thanks very much indeed. And they're going to have their greatest challenge later on. We'll have more from well, this, I believe, is a much better thing for the waistline and uh, probably a lot more fun. Of course, it's belly dancing. Don't start yet, girls. The Golden Adventurers facing their biggest challenge ever with Vashti here, who I think is one of Britain's top belly dancers, and you've danced all around the world and, right. and all that, haven't you? Now, let's just go back to the basics of belly dancing. Where, where did it all start? In Turkey. In Turkey. Yes. And, and what, is, what is the origin of the dance? Is it, it always looks to me as if one might be going into labour, you know? That's right. Is... It's painless childbirth, originally. Hey, mm. oh, I see. Instinct and genius combined. That's right. Now, how long does it take for someone like you to learn the, the basics, you know? Years and years. Really? Yes. So, so I know you've been training these, <laughs> these lot up. I mean, what have you managed to show them so far? We've done um, hip circles, belly yeah. rolls, <laughs> shimmies. Let's do, the, let's do the belly roll again. Do the belly. <laughs> Superb. And, right, go, go, on, go on to the shimmy. Do the shimmy. Yeah. And, they, and, can, and, and can they do all that? Well, they're practising. Listen, my director's screaming, because apparently we didn't see you do the belly roll again. So, all right, are we going to have a shot of the belly roll again? Right, one, two, three, there it goes. How about that? <laughs> now, how are you, seriously, how are you doing that? Is that all muscular sort of tension inside? It's uh, isolation. Isolation, what does that yes. mean? 
Oh. Moving one thing without the other. Yes, that's right. Oh, yes. go on, do, do that headbutt again. Do the, do the headbutt. It's fantastic, isn't it? Great. All right, now listen, we've seen enough from the experts, yes. and you're going to be experts now, aren't you? So take it away and lead them off into the, the belly dance from the Golden Adventure. Bales up, ladies. Nice bales, that's right. Nice bales. Hip circles. Hip circles. Lovely. And the other way. Now shimmy, shoulder shimmy. And hip shimmies. And camel walk. And come the other way. Camel walk. That's right. And shimmy. Round hip circles. Come the other way. Hip circles. A nice bail. Backwards. Mm -hmm. Come up. <laughs> Turn around the other way. Listen, and I'm going to have to stop you for a second. But oh, yes, come on, a round of applause <laughs> for the for the golden adventurers. Brilliant. Thank you very much. And so move again. I think this could catch on. So don't get left behind. Throw your old lace curtains around your head and try our belly button bop. I'm going to leave the dancers to it. I'm going over there. Judy. <laughs> that was great. <laughs>